What's up you guys? Today I'm going to talk about the NBA and coronavirus. And, oh, breaking news! The NBA is discussing a 70 game season to restart in July. This is interesting. So, with that breaking news out of the way, let's more talk about the coronavirus and how it's affected the NBA. So, first off, the NBA closed March 11th, it got suspended, everything was shut down due to the player Rudy Gobert playing for the Utah Jazz contracting the coronavirus on Wednesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder. This caused widespread panic against both the teams and that's how the season got suspended because Rudy Gobert was in contact with players before. like. This was when he was asymptomatic, he was in contact with other players, right? So they had to shut down everything to make sure everyone was safe. And now, everyone's like, when's the NBA going to start? Is it going to start, like, you know, mid-June, July, August? But then I just got breaking news saying that there's a 70-game season that's going to start around July. That's big, because... And I believe that this news is in Las Vegas, so I'm going to double check the information. This is according to Rim Report on Instagram. Now, I know Instagram isn't, you know, highly trustable, but a lot of main information comes from Instagram. And this is big because I believe this is going to happen in Las Vegas. I don't know exactly what's is going to happen, but some possibilities of the NBA season starting up has been in Disneyland and Las Vegas because, you know, open, not much people. The commissioner, he's going to pay a lot of money, and this, this is probably going to mean that ticket prices are going to soar up the moment that the season reopens because, you know, people are flocking the game, they're going to make some money. So... Yeah, that's some information. More information is, some players that got infected include Kevin Durant, Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert's teammate, Donovan Mitchell, Christian Wood, playing for the for the Detroit Pistons, and many other players, but due to their privacy reasons, we, not, we don't know unless they publicly come out. Uh, this pandemic has greatly affected sports, and the, the commissioner is talking with the players on how to keep them safe. There's been rumors or, no, facts on wide-range testing for every single NBA team. And this is crazy for the NBA team because there's there might be, like, an argument because I believe that they haven't got paid because they're not on the court. Because there's a disaster relief effort, like, plan that the NBA set a script, like, d during a, a disaster, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures so the players don't get paid. This might cause an uproar when the season starts because, who knows, are the NBA players being paid? And I'm actually going to check that out right now. I'm check. I'm going on www.mba.com. So, the players are going to receive breaking. Like this is not really breaking news. They're going to receive paychecks for April fifteenth. But the NBA is going to lose millions of dollars due to like playoffs. Like n because no one's going to be there, so they're going to lose millions from fans. Come, like those. Hot dog stands, I believe they make money from them. They're gonna lose a lot of money during the playoffs because that's their peak key revenue time for them to make some moolah. And the teams are gonna lose money because, you know, like the Lakers, the Bucks, they were expected to go to the playoffs. Now they have to get full refunds. And, you know, breaking news? No, it's not. Alright, uh. Refunds are gonna have to be given. So. The NBA is going to come back differently. It's not going to be like... I don't know. I believe it's going to come back differently. Like... 
you, you don't come back the same if you lose hundreds of millions of dollars from just not playing for two months. The players are going to act differently. They're probably all out of shape because I don't really think anyone's going to eat healthy when you're not allowed to go out and the stuff is expensive. And yeah, this is a wake-up call for the NBA. And it just, it just shows how, like, you have to be serious about this virus because even the top NBA players, they're listening to the guidelines by the CDC. Nothing's changing for them, you guys. And, also, is there any more information on the NBA? Alright. So, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's, like, how do you guys feel about the NBA not being in commission or, like, not happening during this time? Have you been able to survive? Because a lot of people's jobs are, like, you know, being halted. And it's not just the NBA players. It's the people that work inside, like, the arenas. Like the janitors, the staff, uh, I'm going to start to have some examples because I have no idea. The refs, they, they don't make much. Actually, they probably do make much, but they're affected. The NBA water boys, the security guards. A lot of people are being affected by this. So let, let me know down in the comments below. How do you think the NBA has been able to cope with all this stuff going on? And do you think that a 70 game season is worth it? Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, sub, subscribe. Goodbye.